Welcome us, welcome to Buzz TV. Let's head over to your pledge. Good morning, LMS, and welcome back to Buzz TV. Today is day four, Tuesday, December 14th, and these are your student announcements. Join the fun. Each day this month is a different themed dress up day. Tomorrow is Pride Day. Wear school colors or sports jersey or shirt, or a shirt for a cause you're passionate about. Show your pride in your way. Congratulations to the following sixth grade IRA students of the week for the second week of December. In Team Incredible, we have Sam Fleetwood, Alicia Mattern, Casey Sabo, Stella Petrovich, Kaylin Walk, and Carlos Hernandez. From Team Supreme, we have Sam Ridenauer, Dono Houseman, Lonnie Wexler, Zoe Burns, Bianca Millian, and Kayla Van Pelt. And from Team Extreme, we have Braden Shadler, Norelin Piero, Chase Stockhausen, Jacob Erbrick, Connor Snell, and Peyton Webb. Keep up the great work. Students interested in auditioning for the cast of the Spring Musical Matilda should plan to attend an informational meeting and auditorium music teaching session on Tuesday, December 21st, after school. Students interested in applying for crew positions or the pit orchestra, stay tuned for more information later this week. Reading Olympics Club members are reminded to sign up for the holiday party ASAP. If you'd like to participate in the book swap, bring a new or gently used book. Many animals have lost their homes due to wildfires all over the world. Many animals die after the fire instead of during it because of other animals trying to eat them. Dr. Alexander McCarthy had the idea to build cardboard shelters for animals after the fire. These things are biodegradable and can provide homes and protection for, all the, for animals of all different sizes. There are cameras in some places tracking to see if the pods are actually being used. What do you think about this LMMS? Now and over to your weather update. Home of Mass, it's Taylor with your weather news update. So today is going to be a high of 51 and a low of 30, and tomorrow is going to be rainy, the high of 48 and a low of 44. That's all from me, now into your sports news. Good morning, LMMS, it's Ella bringing you your sports news. This Sunday, the Cleveland Browns and Baltimore Ravens played each other, but that's not what caught everyone's eye. During the game, or more specifically during the first quarter, starting quarterback for the Ravens, Lamar Jackson, rolled his right ankle and didn't come back for the rest of the game, which may be why the result ended in the Browns winning 24-22. Coach John Harbaugh said Jackson will undergo further tests on Monday. The Ravens host the Green Bay Packers next Sunday, so everyone's praying for a fast recovery. Jackson's injury is just the latest for the Ravens, who have been dealing with medical issues since the summer when running backs J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards went down. Baltimore has 17 players on injured reserve, but none as important as Jackson. What do you think about his injury, LMS? Well, that's all for me. Have a great rest of your day. Good morning, LMS. Sami here with your entertainment news. Most of you have been waiting for the third Fantastic Beasts movie. Well, a trailer just came out. The movie titled Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore comes out after a video celebrating the 20th anniversary of the franchise that dropped in early December, teasing the new movie. The teaser gives us a look at Mads Mikkelsen as Gillard Grindwald, the villain role that used to be played by Johnny Depp in the first two installments. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling wrote the screenplay with Stephen Close. The movie is directed by David Yates, David Yates, who directed the last four Harry Potter films. He also directed the first two Fantastic Beasts films. Fantastic Beasts, The, Secret, uh, the Secrets of Dumbledore also stars Eddie Redmayne, Judy Law, Katherine Watterson, Dan Fogler, Alison Sudel, Callum Turner, and Ezra Miller. 
Even though it may seem like a long time, on April 15th, 2022, the movie will fully release, assuming no cutbacks will be made. So, LMMS, will you be planning to watch this new movie when it comes out? That's all for me. Now onto your favorite holiday traditions. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Eating food. Food is nice. Yes, I agree. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Uh, baking cookies. <laughs> what kind of cookies do you like to bake? Uh, probably chocolate chip or peanut butter. <laughs> Both of those are really good. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Going ice skating. What is your favorite holiday tradition? My favorite holiday, uh, the holiday tradition is uh, in Thanksgiving, my family and I make a very Middle Eastern meal, like, like completely different from the American meal. What is your favorite holiday tradition? They have like these mini things that they fill up with little like candy things and I really like that. What is your favorite holiday tradition? So every New Year's I eat a piece of cornbread, a green, and beans. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Mine's just hanging out with my family during Christmas. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Um, I mean I just like getting money. Yeah, I love money for Christmas. What is your favorite holiday tradition? I like going to Lido the Barber uh, to get a fresh haircut. Uh, everyone go to Lido the Barber in Allentown, PA. What is your favorite holiday tradition? I just like getting money for Christmas. Money! What is your favorite holiday tradition? Making cookies on December 24th. What kind of cookies do you like to make? Sugar cookies. Ooh, sugar cookies. I like sugar cookies. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday tradition? Opening presents. Do you like giving or receiving presents? Receiving. What is your favorite holiday tradition? And getting money and cards. Money. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Decorating and getting presents. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday tradition? I like giving people gifts. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Putting a pickle on our Christmas tree. Pickles. Have a great day.